Okay, Attorney Princess, you heard the story um, fifth out of uh, 60 in terms of being the riskiest city for tourists in the world. And uh, you were ranked uh, across different categories uh, in security. Ranking high among that was uh, personal security and health security. Ngayon narinig po natin uh, si Manila Mayor Hani Lacuna dispute uh, this study. But what do you think was the basis of that ranking that came out from Forbes? Uh, actually, we've been trying to get to the main article and see what the parameters that they use in reaching this um, ranking. Um, we believe that uh, it is not accurate. Um, their parameters that they use did not consider uh, many innovations that the city of Manila has made when it comes to dis natural disaster response, um, our uh, environmental safety response, and also it, can, it did not take into consideration um, new information and data on uh, safety, safety and security in the city of Manila. Attorney, can I just uh, clarify one number with you? Uh, 14 million tourists visited uh, the city of Manila in 2023. Is that local, foreign, or a mix of both? I believe it's a, a mix of both. Um, we know that the city of Manila is a um, a transit city where people would stop before going to various provinces, beaches, and other uh, mm -hmm. areas of tourism in the country. But you also have seen a lot of local tourists coming over to the city of Manila, um, visiting our museums, our different sites, um, and really just enjoying the capital. Mm. And, and how does that number compare to previous years? Are you saying an uptrend, downtrend? Is it the same in general? I would suppose that, um, especially the recent years uh, of the pandemic, you see, because we have really seen um, the return of tourists in the city of Manila. Truly, it's really back to normal now. Um, the foot traffic um, that we're getting, both for um, tourists and day-to-day -day foot traffic has greatly increased. Right. So, uh, attorney, uh, alam naman natin, no, sa city of Manila, um, ang laki-laki ng Manila, right? It's a big city, uh, but the tourist areas are, kumbaga, concentrated lang naman sa certain areas. Of course, we have Binondo, the oldest Chinatown mm -hmm. in the world. We have Intramuros, Rojas Boulevard, that side, no, with Rizal Park, Intramuros. In fact, I was just there nung Saturday. I did not feel unsafe at all. Um, do you, what have you guys done, no, specifically to to kumbaga, ensure that these tourist areas are extra safe? And uh, pantay po ba yung mga ine-enforce ninyo na rules in terms of security sa tourist areas uh, as opposed to kumbaga, yung mga normal areas lang na hindi naman masyadong oh. pinupuntahan ng mga tourists? Well, number one, the, the city of Manila has uh, created a tourism plan saan meron tayong eight tourism hubs uh, distributed all over the city. The city of Manila has six districts. Each district would have their own tourism hub. So we are looking forward for more people to visit. Meron sa, of course, and then yung sinabi mo, Binondo, meron sa Samuros. We also have the many rich um, churches that we have that tourists would want to visit. Mga old sites. Tuli-tuli po natin una, siyempre, dumedevelop yan, pinapaganda, pinopromote. Um, papasalamat kami sa tulong din ng Manila Police District that helps us um, secure these areas, um, more police visibility everywhere. Um, at natutuwa din kami na sa pangungunan ni Mayor Honey Lacuna, mas dumami po ang uh, mga innovations na Manila um, Disaster Initial Doctor Office para masiguro na, ma na yung mga emergencies um, ay agad-agad natutubunan. Um, we also have early warning systems now that would help us um, understand the mga natural disasters na darating. At recently, I think last week we just lost we, we just launched the geographic information system. It's a data-driven program para nakikita talaga namin yung mga data sa lungsod na may nila yung mga kailangan sa kailangan yung bantayan 
at mas kailangan pang i-develop. The former mayor, uh, Mayor Esco Moreno, was actually famous for uh, beautification projects. Marami siyang inayos, pinaganda, nilinis uh, sa lungsod ng Maynila. Uh, I'm just wondering, do you have any projects down that lane um, in terms of um, fortifying, retrofitting old buildings, um, yung mga kable na naka Mga maraming nakahang jaan, uh, paglilinis ng mga sidewalk. I mean, tell us a little bit more about that. Um, as well as um, the criticism uh, with the current mayor in delays in infrastructure projects. And that is why doubt that there is a call for the uh, former mayor to come back and run again as mayor. Sa so, unang una sa beautification, the mayor, upon. Um, starting her term, talagang isa yun siya mga unang um, orders niya no, to keep the city clean. Meron tayong ordinansya na tapat ko ni Ms. Po that each household must maintain their own. That's really just in, in their vicinity of their household. Um, lagi dapat malinis. Every Friday, may clean-up drive lagi uh, in each barangay. And also within the uh, city hall, uh, kasi sabi nga ni Mayora, ang City Hall, ang simbolo ng lungsod na pag nakikita nila maligit ang City Hall ay may encourage nila ang bawat mamamaya ng sag ng lungsod na lilisin din ang kalangyan sa lilis pamamahay. Ang mga beautification natin sa mga uh, ni kanina lang, we just um, na groundbreaking kami dun sa bagong park na gagawin sa Pandakan para magkaroon tayo ng mas maraming green areas in the city. At yung iba't iba pa mga programa para mas mapaganda ang lungsod. Pagdating naman sa mga infrastructure, I would like to, I would beg to disagree. We had three um, groundbreaking ceremonies of different um, public schools in in the city. Of course, you have to understand, during the um, previous mayor's administration, while there were a lot of infrastructures, we also uh, had to... We have we have we have some um, debts that we need to to pay for all of the infrastructure programs. We want to make sure that the city will be able to meet all those obligations as we continue to beautify and um, implement those programs. Na medyo nagkaproblema sa start, but now we are improving in our collection, making sure that taxes come in directly to the coffers, so our social programs will continue. Um, the Related to what Gretchen was asking, uh, I wanted to ask if um, kamo sa yung uh, the Pasig River Walkway in Esplanade, yes. and, and secondly as well, uh, there are reports that um, San Miguel is reviving the Parex, the expressway, of course, which has come up against stiff opposition. Uh, can you confirm that for us if they are uh, indeed continuing with the project, and if so, when? Um. Tungkol dyan sa Esplanade, yan, tuloy-tuloy, I think nagkaroon na ng phase 2 yung Esplanade na project um, that was spearheaded by the first lady um, that na mas, mas pinaganda ang lungsod na Manila. Kanina, in partnership with MMDA and San Miguel Corporation, yun nga yung nag, um, groundbreaking for Plaza Azul. It's a, it's a park within the city for the community. I am not aware of the project that you are speaking of. I can verify it later on. The Pasig okay. River Expressway? The the, yeah. the huge expressway that's yeah. being Pero built. Pero dadaan siya sa Manila. Yeah. Oh, oh, of course, yeah. a big part of it is going to be over Manila. Oh, so wala pa kami. lang siguro yung status nun ngayon. Um, I believe it's a national government program, so I cannot speak about it. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Yung mga reclamation, last na lang, yung mga reclamation, isa pa yun uh, na concern, no, na nasisira daw yung Manila Bay, yung famous Sunset View. I'm sure narinig nyo na yan, yeah. Attorney Princess. Um, anong stand ng uh, Mayora Hani? Uh, kung, kung baga, magbibigay pa ba siya ng permit? Magpapatuloy pa ba? I understand that some of them are already ongoing, so parang wala na tayong magagawa. But what's her personal stand on uh, reclamation? How the president? The president already put on hold all reclamation projects and the mayor has already stated that the, the mayor will respect the decision of the president when it comes to the reclamation program. Okay. Uh, I believe there were exemptions mm -hmm. uh, in some contracts there. But uh, thank you so much That's for... only in Pasay. Mm -hmm.
Yep. The tolling passage. Mm. Thanks for clearing right. that up. Thank you so much for joining us tonight uh, and giving us a light into what's happening over in Manila. Manila Public Information Office Head Attorney Princess Abante.